Hi guys, welcome to Adam at Collar TV. I'm Adam. I'm in Amsterdam at the moment. Like, not right now filming this, but I will be when this goes out. And this is your preview of Manchester United versus Leicester City in the Community Shield at Wembley on Sunday. Unfortunately, I won't be in, at the game. I'm there in Amsterdam from Friday until Monday for a little break. I will be watching the game there, of course, but I'm on holiday, so I won't be there. Full-time Devils will be there. Guys will be on fan cams and all that. So you can expect the usual stuff from full-time Devils. So don't worry about that. This is my preview of United against Leicester City. Last time out, United drew 0-0 with Everton in Wayne Rooney's testimonial. It was a testimonial, but we had to treat it like a pre-season game. And we have to do the same with this one. We have to get our players and our team ready for the opening fixture of the season against Bournemouth the following week. But of course... There's a little bit of silverware at stake as well, albeit just the community shield. But it's always nice to win a little trophy, even if it is just that. I say trophy, it's not a trophy. It's a giant plate. Manchester United against Everton. Um, there were good signs in the first half. Second half, we were a little bit too slow. Um, but there were signs there that we could have a team that's growing together and starting to play some good football. But we definitely need to up the tempo and keep it up throughout the game full 90 minutes. It's hard for the players to do that though when they haven't had much of a pre-season and a lot of them are battling for match fitness and stuff. Wayne Rooney played in behind Zlatan Ibrahimovic and although Zlatan kept dropping deep and allowing Rooney to go further forward, probably to get that goal on his testimonial and I doubt that will happen as much when they do play together in competitive games. Rooney and Zlatan showed they have signs. Rooney's intelligence, he can find Zlatan Ibrahimovic and they can link up well. Um, that's shown there. But I don't think they can start together week in, week out. Because against some opposition, that's just going to be far too slow. And I definitely don't want to see Carrick, Rooney and Zlatan starting together week in, week out. Because then that's a slow spine through your midfield, through to your strikers. That's why I've gone with this lineup for the game against Leicester City. David De Gea in goal. Uh, Damian at right back. Bailey, Blind at centre half. Eric Bay is very impressive um, so far since he's joined United and he'll get better when he learns the lingo. Luke Shaw at left back. Then in the central midfield, I've gone for Schneiderlin and Herrera. So a little bit more agility and pace and speed than if we had Michael Carrick in there. Uh, in front of them, Wayne Rooney in the number 10 position, Mickey T and Martial out wide with Zlatan Ibrahimovic up front. The thinking is, if we have Rooney and Zlatan there, Although they haven't got the greatest amount of pace, the people around them have Martial, Mickey T, Schneiderlin, Herrera. It's quicker. Rather than if we had Carrick playing the ball to Rooney, playing the ball to Zlatan. It's very slow at times. So I've gone with that one and I'd like to see that happen. In the second half as well, I'd like to see Mickey T drop into that number 10 position. Maybe in behind Zlatan Ibrahimovic if he can last the game and push uh, Marcus Rashford out wide into Mickey T's position. to See how that works as well. That's what Jose has got to deal with at the moment, experimenting with players in certain positions. And, and of course, I'm not saying players out of position, but his front four, he's got to tinker with that. Who's the best option in that midfield? I know we potentially got Paul Pogba coming, but we've still got to decide upon that as well. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do before the season starts. We've only got one game left and a, couple, and a week's worth of training sessions. So it's a race kind of to be ready for that game against Bournemouth. Confident we will be, but... I wouldn't be surprised if we had a little bit of a slower start to the season in terms of the performances, even if the results do come. Leicester City coming to the back of it on a 4-2 defeat against Barcelona, where their new man, Ahmed Musa, the guy that scored against United for CSKA Moscow, out in Moscow last season, um, he scored two goals for them. I haven't seen any other goals, although I heard one of them is an absolute cracker. And they've made a few new signings as well. Nampolis Mendy, Ron Robert Zila, the former Manchester United goalkeeper, although I'm sure he'll be number two to uh, Kasper Schmeichel, Ahmed Musa, as I said, and Kramaric as well. So they've got a few new players in their squad. I haven't been watching them this preseason, so I'm not sure how they've been playing, if they've changed anything, cop or anything. But I think this game, we need to focus on ourselves, focus on getting fit. Of course, you want the results to come. Of course, you want to see a good victory, but it's not the end of the world if we don't get that. So... Yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below. What's your predictions for the game? What 11 do you want to see? Um, will Zlatan get his first goal for Manchester United in England? I was going to say first goal, but he's already done that within four minutes against Galatasaray. 
So yeah, get your comments in below. Let us know what you think about the game coming up. Do you agree with me in that Carrot Rooney Zlatan kind of thing or do you disagree? Get your comments in on that as well. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I'll have plenty more content coming your way. I'll even try and do a review for you from Amsterdam as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Adam McCola. I'm out of here.